just a few weeks ago, the Navy admitted for the first time that several UFO videos were real, meaning they show actual area phenomenon that so far the Pentagon cannot explain. Now a UFO investigations group says they have found materials that could potentially be physical evidence of UFOs. Luis Elizondo is director of special programs at the To the Stars Academy of Arts and Science. He also headed the Pentagon's office for investigating UFO incidents and is the star of the History Channel's Unidentified. He joins us tonight. Luis, thanks so much for coming on. So Thank you for having me. what is this material and why could it shed light on the question of what UFOs might be? Sure. Well, our company over the last year and a half has actually obtained quite a bit of material. And let me first preface by saying some of that material that's providence is, is frankly hearsay, while other uh, of the providence of some of this material is, has been substantiated. And ultimately, we're in the process of analyzing this material at three different levels. We're looking at its physical properties, its chemical or, if you will, molecular properties, and then ultimately its atomic properties. And it's really at that point we'll be able to make some sort of, of definitive conclusion, keeping in mind that we still have to follow the, the scientific process and methods and at the same time have peer review. So it's not just as simple as coming out and saying, hey, look what we found. Um, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. I, I bet that's right. And, of course, you'll be challenged as you, as you, as you ought to be challenged, I think. Um, but, Absolutely. But quickly sum it up for us. Why do you think this material might be connected to UFOs? Well, I, without getting to a lot of detail right now, because it's, 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 frankly, it's too speculative for me at this point to say why I think something. At the end of the day, it's going to be what the analysis tells us. And if you right. have, for example, interesting isotopic ratios that are not normally found, let's say, on this planet, then you have to scratch your head and either, A, it's been engineered that way, or B, it came from somewhere else. And ultimately, that's what we're trying to find out. So these are materials brought to you by people who say this is at the site of a UFO incident or a crash? In some cases, yes. Uh, again, unfortunately, I can't elaborate too much with some of these individuals. We do have right. non-disclosure agreements, but uh, it's from, from various sources, both private and, and governmental. It goes without saying, I, I hope that you'll come back uh, as you get to the bottom of this. We remain skeptical but open-minded on this and all things. Luis, great to see yes, you sir, Thank, thank you, you so much. Me. Of course. Absolutely. Thank you.